a huge moment here. Um, I have some other YouTube videos, but it turns out my go-karting ones are the only ones I actually get to use. Um, I have a couple other ones that are kind of crappy, um, but within the last couple of years, I've gotten interested in doing go-karts and stuff, so I know quite a bit. Anyway, so my favorite overall would be Yerf Dog and Murray and Manco. Um, not so much the homemade ones, but um, some of the uh, better ones are some of the name brand ones. Um, Eagles are okay too, but they tend to have a lot of issues. So anyway, uh, Yerf Dog number one, I got this for my 13th birthday. And um, this thing is awesome. Everything's factory made, everything's 100%. Well, except for the tires now are not original. But um, I'd rather go to Walmart and pay $45 than it is for normally 90 bucks for one of these. Um, anyway, so other than that, I've added a couple of my own touches to it. But um, yeah, mine's a one-seater. I believe the serial number for it is a 32203 for your dog. And then uh, you have your torque converter here, Comet, which is awesome. It's nice and smooth. And then you have your regular brake band brakes here. Right down here. That works. As such. And then you have your Tecumseh 6 horsepower, power support edition, right here. It's pretty strong. It does everything you need it to do. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So anyway, um, as far as that one came as it was, I haven't really done much to it, but um, a couple weeks ago, I found another Yerf dog just like mine, and the only issue was the engine was blown. So, you know, differences are just the tires and maybe the seat. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, off switch, sometimes those are a little different. And same 6 horsepower when it comes to the power sport engine. Also with the uh, same torque converter. Also by Comet. Um, this one, the I don't know if you can see, the belt's a little torn and worn out. Let's see. Yeah, the belt's a little worn out. So it causes a little rough to ride and jolts it when it does catch. But otherwise, I mean, it's pretty sick all in general. But, um, yeah, so let's go take them for a spin.
for how fast you can go. Normally, factory setting, it the spring is set on to the second hole. Normally, right now it's on number one. Normally, it's on number two factory setting. So to make it a little faster, you can put it on to number one. That's top speed. And also, you can adjust it for like if you have an adult or the little ones are riding it, you can go faster and slower. Also, I think I mentioned normally. There's a chain guard right here that covers it so you can't see this or put your hands in it for the little one. I took it off so you can see how it works. Um, also, these things were intentionally made for off-road and, you know, the big tires and the knobbies and all that, but, you know, we live in Citrus Heights, not Lincoln. So, you know, we can only do all the surface streets. And then, um... This one's a little slower because it's running on flat and I still have it on to the second hole. And four-stroke engines, I've never really heard anything bad about them. Some people don't like the Kumsa, some do. I personally, I've been beating the crap out of this one for three years and it's never given me any hiccup and it runs like there's no tomorrow. Um, they're pretty simple, 196 cc's. Uh, that's about 100 over the legal limit, so, you know, cops will buy, you know, probably get a good talking to, but, um, other than that, the main issues with these, there's the other serial number, 322, 04, 05, and 06, they come with suspension, these don't, that's why I like to run them a little flat, they still have some air in them, uh, mainly because when you are on them, and then you hit a bump, and it absorbs, most of the uh, impact, but also when you're turning, you don't want it super pumped up to where only a little bit, you know, tracks onto it. You want some more grip so that way you turn. Because these, one of the big things I don't like about this design is that it's a live axle. So like uh, I showed earlier, it's really hard to move the back wheel one way or the other. They both want to go the same way, which also affects the way that it wants to turn. It normally just wants to go straight, so at high speeds you'll see us slowing down and taking the turns as possible. Um, one way to counteract that, since it's a 6 horsepower, I would suggest, I mean I've seen people put like 10, 13 horsepower. Um, at that point, it doesn't really matter, I mean you kind of want a live axle in order to get the tires to spin, so that way you can do like donuts and such, and you can burn out. With these, I don't think they can burn out. I haven't really tried.